Today's video is the first in a series on Red Hat Advanced Cluster Security for Kubernetes. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aleš Nosek and I'm the software practitioner located in San Diego, California, helping you navigate the world of Kubernetes. Red Hat ACS is a tool which can be used to secure and protect your Kubernetes clusters. This diagram highlights what I believe are the most important conceptual components of Red Hat ACS. In this video, I'm going to walk you through these components and I'm also going to show you where they can be found in the Red Hat ACS UI dashboard. Let's focus on vulnerability scanning first. Vulnerability scanning in Red Hat ACS is divided into three areas. Number one, Red Hat ACS scans the container images which are used in deployments running on top of Kubernetes clusters. Number two, Red Hat ACS scans select components which are deployed on Kubernetes nodes. These components are the Linux kernel, kubelet, kube proxy, and also the container runtime like container D or cryo. Note that the current version of Red Hat ACS, the version 3.74 does not scan the file system of Kubernetes nodes. Instead, Red Hat ACS looks up the versions of select node components by making a call to Kubernetes APIs. And here at the bottom in the node info are the versions of uh, Kubernetes components that Red Hat ACS then matches against the data in the vulnerability databases. In the near future, Red Hat ACS will be able to scan the file system of Kubernetes nodes. I have seen in the Red Hat ACS GitHub repo that the work on this feature is well underway. The last area scanned by Red Hat ACS is the platform. By platform we mean that Red Hat ACS can detect vulnerabilities that affect the components of the Kubernetes control plane. And for that, Red Hat ACS queries the Kubernetes APIs to find out the version of the Kubernetes cluster. Using this version, Red Hat ACS searches in the vulnerability database to find any CVs that would affect the control plane components of Kubernetes, like uh, Kubernetes API Server Scheduler Controller Manager, which exactly match this version. Specifically for OpenShift, the Kubernetes control plane components are distributed in a OpenShift Hypercube RPM package. And so Red Hat ACS will search and find all CVEs that affect the OpenShift Hypercube package that, uh, whose version exactly matches the version of OpenShift which was returned by the Kubernetes API call. Next, let's take a look how vulnerability management looks like in Red Hat ACS UI dashboard. I installed Red Hat ACS version 3.74.1. As soon as you deploy Red Hat ACS, it will start scanning your environment. Results of image vulnerability scanning can be found in the vulnerability management dashboard. And here under CVEs, you can find the image CVEs, node and platform CVEs, which were detected by Red Hat ACS so far. Let's take a look at the image CVEs. As we can see, Red Hat ACS detected 576 CVEs that affect the images that are deployed on our Kubernetes clusters. That is a lot of CVEs. Before we start reviewing individual CVEs, we would like to order them based on their severity. And for that, we can either order our CVEs based on the severity column or based on the CVSS base score column. The value in the severity column is directly derived from the severity which was assigned to the vulnerability by the distributor of the affected component. For example, the first CVE in this list affects a Debian component. And if we take a look at the Debian security tracker, we will realize that Debian assigned an urgency of unimportant to this uh, vulnerability. And based on this, uh, Red Hat ACS is showing that the severity of this CVE is low. In the case that the distributor doesn't provide a severity rating for a given vulnerability, then Red Hat ACS will take the CVSS base score and directly convert it into severity. I find the severity provided by the distributor to be a uh, more accurate measure than the CVSS base score, and that's why I prefer to order my 
CVEs in the order of the severity column, and I do analyze them in this order. The sorting based on the CVSS base score column can come handy in situations like, for example, PCI DSS. If you want to be PCI DSS compliant, then you are supposed to resolve vulnerabilities with the CVSS score, which is higher or equal to four, uh, in which case uh, you will want to sort your vulnerabilities based on the CVSS base score column and analyze them in that order. Red Hat ACS automatically scans all images which are used in deployments on your Kubernetes clusters. And by deployments, I mean that Red Hat ACS watches the Kubernetes kinds like pod, replica set, deployment, stateful set, daemon set, job and cron job. And whenever it sees an image used in these objects on the cluster, it will automatically scan that image. Note that Red Hat ACS does not scan images which may be located in the image cache on Kubernetes nodes. And also Red Hat ACS does not connect to a registry and in bulk scan all the images which are in there. In order for Red Hat ACS to scan a container image, Red Hat ACS needs to be able to connect to the image registry and download the image layers. If you are using registries which require authentication, then you will need to go to Red Hat ACS and configure a image integration. Image integrations can be found under platform configuration, integrations. The typical image integration you may want to use is the generic Docker registry integration. One last thing I wanted to show you in regards to vulnerability scanning is that with Red Hat ACS, you can create periodic vulnerability reports. You will find this functionality under vulnerability management reporting. And here you can create reports for example, weekly reports, which will list the current vulnerabilities found in your clusters. Let's review what we covered in this video. We talked about vulnerability scanning functionality in Red Hat ACS. Red Hat ACS is able to detect CVEs in container images, which are deployed on top of your Kubernetes clusters. Red Hat ACS can also detect CVEs in select components on Kubernetes nodes. And Red Hat ACS is able to find CVEs which are affecting the Kubernetes control plane. Next, I showed you how we can use the severity column in Red Hat ACS to prioritize the CVEs for your analysis. If you are deploying images from image registries that require user authentication, I showed you that you will need to create the corresponding image integration in Red Hat ACS to allow ACS to authenticate against the registry and pull the image layers. And as a last point, I showed you where in Red Hat ACS you can generate periodic vulnerability reports. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please feel free to leave your questions or comments down below. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing so that you are notified whenever I release a new video. Until next time.